today I'm giving you a short walkthrough of my 90 day planning Trillo board. So I use this board to plan out the next 90 days in my business. And this board essentially keeps me on track week to week in my business and what I need to be doing. So the very first list on this board is to read or do. So this is kind of my to do list overall. Um, I just stick things in here as I think of them. Um, if I'm not ready to work on them yet to schedule them in, you know, like for later weeks or even months. Then I have a 2019 list. This is where my quarterly cards live. So I have a card for each quarter. And on that card, I document like what I worked on for the quarter, what my stats were for the quarter. For each one, I have an end of month checklist on there. I have a quarterly checklist on there. So at the end of each quarter, I do these things. And then I reset a card for the next quarter coming up. And you'll see I have like CEO reports. So these are questions that I ask myself to reflect back on the quarter and reflect back on the month. And then at the after I fill those out, I actually forward them to this card via email to add in the comments. Um, so I have a I have a quick review of what happened any given quarter on this card. Then I have lists for each of the months that make up a quarter. So I have January, February, and March. And once this board is filled out, I'll have a week card for each week of the month. Um, and you'll see over here, I actually have a week 13. So how I divide my year is each month has only four weeks in it. And then at the end of the quarter, I take a week 13. So the weekly card has any projects I'm focusing on for that particular week. Um, to do's for the week. So sometimes I link to a card that's in the to do list. Sometimes I'll just pull the item over or sometimes I actually just pull it into the list itself um, outside of this card and it's like under the card. Um, so that goes there. Content is just basically what my content schedule is for the week. So I check these off as they're done. So I know like when I'm coming into a week, what I need to work on or if I'm ahead, oh, I don't have to worry about it until like week three. Um, I have a Friday to-do list and then I have a networking list to keep me accountable. At the end of each week, I do do a CEO report. And again, this is just a list of things in type form that I wanna reflect on for the week. And then I forward that email that I get once I fill out the report right here and it's added as a comment to this card. So I can look down and see exactly what happened in January. Kind of what was my focus? What was I working on? Was I following my strategies and getting everything done for those weeks? So once a week is done though, what I do is, so I have a list and it's quarter one, another week down. So what I do is I simply move it over here underneath that month. Um, I don't delete them. So I, again, I have a snapshot of what is happening week to week in my business. Then I have tasks for when things aren't flowing. So every once in a while, I will have a day where I'm just having trouble getting started or I'm having trouble focusing and I can't get into my big project for the day. Those days I have a list of things that I can work on that are a little more mindless and sometimes that helps um, just calm me down and get me into the flow of the work day. Plus I feel like I'm making a little progress even if I'm not like at the top of my game that day. And then I have templates. So these are just simply copies of cards that I use over and over again. I just want to make sure um, that they accidentally don't get deleted and this is a centralized place for me to update those. So I want to show you what the 90 day planning board looked like when the year was complete. So this is my one from 2018 and I called it this quarter. Um, you can name your boards, whatever you want, but it is my 90 day planning um, board, regardless of how I call it. So that were most of the same, same lists. Um, you know, we're not quite done with months, so that's there, but you'll see here's where I have all my like quarter, another quarter, another week down, another week down and each of the quarters are right here. So each of these cards contain information that gives me a snapshot in time of where my business is. Like I said, the quarter card has all my stats on it. Um, the month card has some information about expenses and things of that nature. Then I have um, my blog post. So right here, um, 
this is this is a card that comes from my editorial calendar so at the end of the month it gets moved over to my quarter my 90 day board and i can see exactly what i um, published for the month as well as like what i was promoting so what ctas did i have on those blog posts things of that nature and then i also have a um, a newsletter card and what i actually do is i forward those newsletters right to the card and then I can read through and kind of see, you know, what was I talking to my list about? What was I um, promoting at that time? And then of course my weekly cards give me a snapshot of if I was following my strategy, what did I get done in a week? All that good information. So at the end of the year, you have a snap snapshot of what was happening at any given quarter, any given time in your um, business, which can be really powerful. That is what consists of my 90 day board and a quick little overview. Um, if you're interested in learning more about how I use Trillo to keep my business on track and to reach my goals and like to plan with it, I do have a new Trillo offering called Plan Your Year with Trillo. And in that, I give you the 90 day planning board and walk you through it, but I also give you my yearly planning board, my editorial calendar, my social media engagement, Trillo board, my um, content bank Trillo board, and a resource I call a learning hub Trillo board. Um, so all of those kind of work together um, throughout my year to keep my business on track. And I just share with you that system that I use to do that within Trillo um, and give you video walkthroughs as the, well as the templates. So you can find more information about that below. If you have any questions, just pop them in the comments.